morning students i hope you all are fine and studying through the videos sent by various teachers i am glad that you all are asking your doubts through campus care app dear children i am delighted to inform you that in the test which i conducted on 16th may out of 276 students 227 students responded some students could not appear for test due to slow network i feel sorry for those students most of the students scored between 16 to 20 i would like to congratulate those students few students scored low marks that they should not lose hope and work hard for next test today i will start new chapter motion and time I would like to request all of you to watch the videos go through PDF and book attentively so that you can improve your score in the next test. So let's start new chapter motion and time. When is an object said to be in motion? an object is said to be in motion when it changes its position with respect to time in comparison to some stationary object in its surroundings so here with respect to time and the surrounding with which we have to compare these two are very important terms suppose you are coming to school by bus or by your bicycle then here position of the vehicle is changing and your position is also changing here i take one small example of your school bus you all know that uh, school bus runs from different areas here i take one school bus coming from rapur suppose that at 7 o'clock the school bus is near ratu road at 7:10 the school bus reaches to another stop is that is kishor ganj chowk at 7:20 your bus reaches to argora chowk 7:30 it reaches to birsa chowk and finally at 7:35 it reaches to kerali so here you can see the position of your bus bus along with you is changing time to time in the beginning the surroundings were different so if we compare with respect to the trees or buildings or shops near those stops the position is changing so with respect to those surroundings the bus and the students are in motion but if we compare the students who are sitting inside the bus then the students are at rest if you are watching the videos sent by your teacher by sitting at one place then what happens here time is changing but your position is not changing so that time you are at rest in class 6 you have learned that there are four types of motion one by one i would like to recall those four type of motion first one is rectilinear when an object moves in a straight line it is said to be rectilinear motion for example a boy running in a straight path march past by soldiers motion of bullock cart moving on a straight line motion of horse pulling the cart second is circular motion when an object moves in circular path it is said to be in circular motion example motion of child in merry go round the motion of earth around sun we all know that the path followed by earth is elliptical which can be treated as circular path 
Next is rotational motion. When an object turns around or about a fixed axis, it is called rotational motion. We all know that earth spins on its axis and it completes its rotation in 24 hours. So spinning of earth on its axis is example of rotational motion. Similarly, turning of blades of fan, it is also rotational motion. Next is periodic motion. The motion which repeats itself after regular interval of time. It is said to be in periodic motion. This is also known as oscillatory motion. The example is motion of child on a seashore, swinging of pendulum, again revolution of earth around the sun as it completes, it repeats its motion after regular interval of time. Among all these, the simplest type of motion is Rectilinear motion. Now we will see rectilinear motion in terms of speed. It is common experience that the motion of some object is slow while that of some other is fast. We also know that some vehicles move faster than others. Even the same vehicle may move faster or slower at different times. If you are coming to your school by your bicycle and you are before time, means you are not in hurry, then you will pedal your bicycle slowly. But when you are getting late any day for your school, you will pedal your bicycle fast. So if vehicles are moving on a road in the same direction, we can easily say which one of them is faster than the other. Let us look at, let us look at the motion of vehicles moving on a road. Here in figure, you can see first figure shows the position of some vehicles moving in the same direction on a road at some instant of time. The second figure shows the position of same vehicles after some time. Now by seeing this figure easily you can decide which vehicle is moving the fastest of all and which one is moving the slowest of all. So we can say that the distance moved by the objects in a given interval of time can help us to decide which one is faster or slower. For example, suppose you start pedaling your bicycle at the same time as the bus begin to move. After 5 minutes, the distance covered by bus and distance covered by you will be same. No. Definitely the distance covered by bicycle after 5 minutes would be much smaller than the distance covered by the bus. So we can say that bus is moving faster than bicycle. Even same vehicle may move slow at one time and fast at other time. For example, if your road is busy, the bus will move slow. And if road is clear, the bus will move fast. From these discussions, what can we say? We can say that an object which takes a longer time to cover a certain distance is called slow. Whereas other object which takes a shorter time to cover the same distance is said to be fast. So the most convenient way to find out which of the two objects is moving faster is to compare the distances moved by them in a unit time. Here unit time can be one hour, one minute,
minute or one second. So, the distance covered by an object in unit time is called speed. That means we can say an object is slow or fast by knowing its speed. A slow moving object is said to have a low speed. On the other hand, a fast moving object is said to have high speed. So today I stop here only. You revise the top topics from your NCRT book. Thank you children.